Nick, first off, thank you. I need your BC. Thank you for taking a little bit of time to talk to me about the movie. I absolutely loved it. And I, I think I need to start by asking you about the play specifically. Did you have the chance to watch the play or did, you, did they give you the play before coming into the movie? No, so actually I never saw the show on Broadway. Um, I, I had listened to the music a bunch, of course, and I was a big fan of the, the cast album, but I had never seen it live. But after I uh, got the job, I did something I wasn't supposed to. I looked up the bootleg version online, oh. um, and I watched that because I had to see the show with Ben, you know? Um, and so I, I, I did watch it that way. I'm, I'm excited to go see it live later this year. It's, it's okay, don't worry about it. I, we, I think we all understand. And I'm, I'm going to cut that out, don't yeah. worry. <laughs> um, no, 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 you can keep, you can keep, you can keep it in. You absolutely can. I mean, I think, you know, Broadway is not accessible to a lot of people can enjoy it. It's uh, the bootleg mm -hmm. Correct, correct. All right, let's talk about Jared. Um, since you... Um, how much of what you got from the bootleg version, obviously, uh, do you translate it into the movie side of, of, of Jared? Um, you know, I think what Will Rowland did so brilliantly was uh, bring humor to such a heavy story. And I really wanted to be able to achieve the same thing. But of course, in film, it's very different. Cause mm -hmm. you're, it's a lot closer. You're, you're, up, you're up close and personal. You're in, there, you're in everybody's faces. And the moments just land heavier. And so the challenge for me was to figure out how best to be funny and, and bring the comedic relief but still stay true to the tone of the film and stay true to the world of the film which is which is quite quite bad um I gotta say something. I related to Jared. I think, uh, and 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 I, I'm gonna keep this on the interview. and I'm gonna put it on the, on, the, on the transcript. A lot of colleagues and friends tell me I'm the sarcastic, the sarcastic one. They don't know if I'm being serious. No, I'm that serious. I'm just, I'm gonna keep this on the interview. I like I want I, I want to put this out there. They they all feel I'm, we're not sure if you're being serious or you're being fun or you're just or you're being real. And I absolutely love that you know that about Jared. And and I want to know. Uh, was that something that, you know, how much of it was just something that you brought from yourself into the character, or was it just, just you taking instructions from the director and just like, I need you to be like this? I would say it was truly a collaborative process between, you know, the words on the page that Stephen Levinson wrote and the direction that Stephen Chabowski, the director, gave, and then also me bringing my own life experiences and my own sense of humor to it. I think that's Uh, working together, we really found um, the Jared that, that's in the film. You know, I think uh, a lot of the credit that goes to Stephen Levinson, the, the screenwriter who also wrote the book on Broadway. He, he just has such a specific vision for every character in the film, no matter how big or small. Um, I, I want to talk about, if, if possible, I want to talk about the card racing scene. <laughs> I think that was fun. Yeah. That, that, that was, was fun, right? That was the most fun. Oh, yeah, that was the most fun to shoot, too, because we got to spend a whole day rehearsing, <laughs> uh, which basically was just, you know, riding go-karts for a full day, which is really <laughs> We actually shot it. It was really cool because we got to shoot it for the cameras, and so the cameras were racing in front of us and behind us, and, um, you know, we had to, had to sing while we were doing it. So it was just a really, really fun couple days. Um, I, I think I got four, five more minutes left. Um, let's talk a little bit about the cast. The cast is really good. I mean, it's epic. Amy, Julian, Danny, Colton. I mean, everyone. A, a, Amanda, a, Caitlin, obviously Ben. And you got to work side by side with Ben. Um, what did you were able to grasp from him? Yeah, understanding that he came from the play to the movie and you were just playing there side by side. Did you were able to, did you interact with him Out, you know, outside of the cameras, and were you able to get you know, learn something from him in, in the process? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we definitely got to spend a lot of time together outside of uh, work because you know we were in a it was during the height of the pandemic, mm -hmm. and so we were in a very strict bubble. Um, and so the cast got to spend a lot of time together, and it was it was a really lovely experience. Um, and in terms of, of learning from Ben, I mean, just watching him work is a masterclass in acting. 
Uh, you know, he's lived with this character for seven years, mm-hmm. I think, at this point. And watching him slip back into that character, but also still finding something new mm-hmm. uh, was, a, was a really, really um, educational experience. I got I got two more I got to get to I got to three more three more minutes I got two more questions and I'm gonna let you go don't worry about it um, did my 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 this next question is about what did you learn what did you did you learn something did you relate to that your character or, or to your story in anything um, did you learn anything from it Yeah I mean you know I think it really drove home the message for me that it's okay to not be okay. Um, I, I'm a, I think one of the reasons they, they wanted me to cover this film is because I'm a, I'm a huge uh, advocate of mental health. That's something that I speak a lot uh, yeah. when it comes to, to everything that I do. Uh, so that I, I kind of I kinda understood when they, when they reach out, hey, we need you to cover this, this film. What does mental health for you mean? What does it mean for you specifically, for Nick? What does that mental health, uh, you know, uh, reaching out and, 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 and speaking about mental health means to you? Yeah, uh, mental health has always been something that I thought a lot about. Um, you know, I've struggled with anxiety, I've struggled with depression. Um, you know, I think a lot of folks have and do, and it's always something that's on my mind. And, and for me, it's realizing that happiness is not a, an end goal, it's, it's It's the state of being that comes and goes and can be achieved through a lot of intentional work and mindfulness and that it's really important to always be aware of yourself um, and to really love yourself. I, I agree. I agree with you and I absolutely... I- I want to thank you for your time, and, and I want to, I want to see you more projects. I'm looking forward to see you in other different uh, 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 movies and and uh, different projects. So thank you for your time and congratulations on the movie on yeah. on, on Jared. Love Jared. I mean I am Jared. Thank, so thank you so much. So I that, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much, Rafael. Thank you. I really appreciate it.